Wow. The last I heard about um, uh, PE was one of the few first responder deaths there's been. Damien, out of my brew. Hey. 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 What's up? Cool, man. Yeah, big time. No, nice picture. Yeah, cool. Great line. Loud and clear. So, in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, folks, let me give you a little bit of history on Damien. So, as Jules mentioned, he is a long-standing affiliate of Fields of Green and that. But, um, basically, he runs Grow Guru in PE. They're a physical store and an online store that I've got a lot of high-end grow stuff from beginning to finish and processing and all that. So please go check out, we put their link in the bottom, their link's also on Fields of Green, but go check out Grow Guru for lots of grow gear. Now that I'm, now that I'm done with the ad, Damien, are you safe and sane? How are you keeping, dude? Um, yeah, we're all good. We, we're all safe and sane, and we, we are continuing to trade on live, so we're all good. We have closed our showroom, you know, the retail showroom, to, to walk in customers and unfortunately we aren't really allowing in collections um, at this stage um, but we are servicing our, our clients out by, by the courier so we're only interacting once a day uh, with, the, with the courier drivers keeping ourselves as well as our customers safe as, as much as we can but uh, yeah it's crazy times Crazy times. It is crazy times. I heard, I read late this afternoon, and it was like breaking news. They finally opened up e-commerce. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So okay, hopefully okay. things can get back a bit smoother for for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course, because everything is really essential at the end of the day. So it is. Oh, to to you, to it's you, wherever you are. <laughs> for sure. Well, yeah, agriculture is is fairly essential, I suppose. Uh, in the food sector as well as our sector, but um, yeah, there's a lot of other things that other people could, could deem essential in their in their um, well in their regard, you know, or in their circumstances as well as jobs and that sort of thing. So yeah, everyone I suppose is just hanging tight. <coughs> Dave, Dave, Damon, yeah. how's, how's it been going in general in PE? Is it pretty oppressive? There's a lot of army about. Do you can see a presence of like crazies with guns uh, and shit? Hmm? No, to be honest, I only saw police yeah. in my area on you know one of the corners once or twice in the first few days of, of lockdown initially. I haven't seen any of the army. I'm sure we have got a base here, but yeah, I, I really haven't seen anything um, out of the ordinary, except for our Woolworths, for example, uh, got hit by the COVID twice, and then the checkers that I go to every you know couple of days or whenever I need my stuff. Um, also, is closed down completely now um, after the an incident within a store. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, from from you know, everybody's got their opinion as to how it should be um, because you know if if you've got pre-existing conditions, then maybe you may be opposed to the lifting of the lockdown. And if you're losing your job, you may be opposed to the lockdown. So. I don't know how to comment. Um, you know, I think comments are valid, which yeah. makes it really difficult. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so everybody needs their jobs, but the economy needs to continue. But um, everybody also has their fears if they have pre-existing conditions. And I, I don't know what to really comment and what to say there. I just, I hope for everybody's, you know, well-being. But we, so in the in the long. You know, the long story short is that we, we need to almost move forward um, as in a community, um, no matter what. And uh, if I were to be hit by the, the COVID, then, you know, so be it, I suppose. I don't know what to, what to say. Maybe, regard, yeah. maybe you've already had it. I have wondered this, you know, because I was in Russia just before all yeah. the countries closed down and I was in Turkey uh, yeah. as well. Um, just before all the countries shut down, these are one of the majorly, most majorly affected countries. Um, if you look at the, the you know, statistics, but um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, if so, it would have come and gone, and yeah, that's it. Like but a normal flu, right? I've got no idea. It would have just come in, you would have felt it. You'd have had some Karenza C, yeah, some ACC. I, was, I remember coming in, and they they did 
do a temperature check, you know, when I when I came in at that point. And but that that was standard protocol for South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what it looks. But, um, you, you know, a lot of people are focused also on the statistics, well, the incorrect statistics, which are the cases, and, and not actually focusing on the recoveries as oh, well. Yeah, so they... when you look at our statistics, then it's only half of what's actually been projected, and everybody clenches onto that statistic. And the, the, when you look at then the, the critically ill, wherever it's, it makes up 2% of that, so, ah, yeah. My two cents worth. I don't know what else to say about Corona. No, there's a. I just the, wish we would pick up back to normal. <laughs> well, we. Uh, I don't know what it's like on the street there at the moment, but <clears throat> day by day the roads get busier, and there's more and more people trading on the side of the road now. People have had enough, and if they want to be arrested and taken off to jail, they'll be let out because you have to let people out of the jail because the sea words in town, you know. So there's this bizarre yeah, grey sure. area of. There's all of these rules and 5,000 round here and 10,000 round there, but they can't put you anywhere.